if you look at the key reasons why early stage companies fail, and then you say like, is this the things that startups like accelerators provide? In most cases, it's not aligned, right? So, so, um, so, and, and they provide some of the stuff, but not enough of it, right? So, um, for example, a lot of startups will, most startups will fail because of product market fit um, and not figuring out really like who's supposed to use their product, how to reach them, and then actually reaching out to them and then getting onto conversations and then figuring out how to tailor it and then selling it, right? Yeah. And so, and so when you go to an accelerator, like sure, they talk about product market fit and they might say like, and have a session with 15 CEOs and say like, product market fit's important. You know, we should do some stuff with reaching out to some potential customers, but like it's not targeted enough and they don't actually help you do it. Right. And so like where we would be different is like, we don't run these group sessions, everything's super targeted on your organization. But then we say like, we'll just help you figure it out. We'll, we'll like, so if you're, um, I don't know, if you're targeting the uh, insurance industry and you're saying like, Hey, I need to target certain key decision makers at insurance companies because they're going to help to, they're going to be our client. Well, then we'll just help you figure out who's every single person that matches that in every single insurance company in North America. And then we'll help you figure out how to reach out to them. Right. And then we'll create automation processes and use a lot of split testing to see if the messaging is working, et cetera. And so this works much more effectively because we're hands-on with those companies to actually help them actually do the things that they need to do and bring in processes that they may not know how to do themselves, right? So in our, in our venture program model, like we do hold equity in all of the companies and then we look to invest in them uh, on their next finance round. You, you take these companies and you're helping them in a lot of cases kind of refine what it is they offer and, and who they're offering it to and help them actually do that. And so in a lot of cases, they won't have sales or they won't have very many sales so therefore, what is it that you look for when you go, right, this is a company that's definitely got what it takes to succeed. So like, how do you see that? Like, what, what do you look for for that? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a good question, actually. So uh, we actually have a process internally where our team goes through about 90 different things um, as part of our due diligence. And it ranges from, you know, team and background to what they're solving, the market size of the problem that they're solving, um, to defensibility of the product, like all, all sorts of stuff. Like it's, it's a pretty comprehensive set of things that our team goes to. At the end of the day, the challenge is that the startup may not know who they're selling to in reality and may not even know when they actually even have a product ready. So like we've actually had cases like where, you know, for example, we were on a, on a call with a, with a CEO and they said, you know, we are building this sort of big product. It's going to be almost like an ecosystem type of product. It's, it's got all these different things it can do, but it's going to take us another year to build it. And we said, well, actually, and this is all within one call, right? And we're like, well, actually this is probably five products, this, 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 and this, and actually you can launch these two tomorrow and you can actually put these three on hold and you can go to market with this. And then we can actually see if people even want it. And then that's actually what they did. Right. And so, um, but it's, it's about understanding, like, how can you actually go test this and, and actually get feedback and then build the product then around your customer, because then your customer will tell you what they want. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and that's sort of an important part of it. And, and so a lot of founders, we also find are like sort of scared to go to market in some ways, like they would prefer in a lot of cases, continuing to just build, 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 but not actually just going out to the market and just seeing what happens. Uh, and that user feedback and it is sort of so critical and it just accelerates everything so much if you go out there and you just try and if 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 you fail fast and rebuild and improve i mean you're you're much more likely to you know find successes then if you like this video why not check out the full interview it's an excerpt from you should see a link to that full interview somewhere here on the screen and also down in the description box below. Consider liking this video and do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all my videos as they go live. Thank you so much for watching and stay curious.